Hello, I'm Jonathan Shaler, your instructor for Constructive Conflict Management, and I'm here to lead us in a brief meditation as a way to encourage all of us to meditate on a daily basis, if possible, during the next several weeks. As part of our exploration of mindfulness and how it can enhance our approach to communication as well as conflict resolution, or as I like to think of it, conflict transformation transforming the everyday struggles and difficult differences that we face into something different, uh, an opportunity for learning, an opportunity to exercise wisdom and compassion. So let's take a look for a moment again at the eight C's, the eight qualities of self identified in internal family systems theory. We'll just look at the first one today. This is calmness, the quality of self when we're in that centered, best part of ourselves. Calmness is a physiological and mental serenity, regardless of the circumstances. A physiological and mental serenity, regardless of the circumstances. It's also the ability to react to triggers in your environment in less automatic and extreme ways. So it's not that we will no longer be triggered, but when we are, we have a larger context in which to put that, that feeling. We're not just acting from the lower functioning part of our brain, the hippocampus, but we are accessing the frontal lobes, the neocortex, and we are um, using our higher functioning brain. Also, uh, the idea is to be less vulnerable to adopting the common fight-flight-freeze response when threatened. Makes sense. So we're getting to that calm place. It's not about suppressing thoughts or feelings. It's not about becoming a zombie or becoming deadened to the world or our sensations. It's about relaxing, being open, uh, sensing through our five senses without being reactive. That's what it really is about. It helps to be in an environment where there's fewer distractions, where they're minimal. Uh, I unfortunately have a cell phone here which has been going off a little bit with messages, but the reason I have it here is because I wanted to show you an app <laughs> that we can use for meditation that you can use. And there's probably a way for me to silence the, um, the messages, right? Those alerts. I'm sure there is, and now that this is happening, I'll figure that out. But I really wanted to get this video up quickly, so if there's an occasional bleep bleep from my phone, I'm going to ignore it, and I'm going to ask that you do too. Uh, we'll hear it, of course, but we won't be triggered by it. Okay. <clears throat> so what is meditation? Remember, it's uh, a way of practicing mindfulness in a very focused and concentrated way. Mindfulness, as defined by John Kabat-Zinn, is the quality of paying attention to the present moment, on purpose, non-judgmentally. It can be done at any time while sipping tea, writing a report, talking to a friend. We're going to do it as a concentrated practice now for the next three minutes as sitting meditation. Remember, for sitting meditation, we sit in an upright posture, um, upright, not erect, not stiff, but relaxed and dignified. So, like uh, a king or queen sitting on their horse, in their seat, in the saddle. Uh, stable, feet flat on the floor. Hands, I like to put mine right on my thighs so they're not dangling. They're not drifting. They're just there on my thighs. You do whatever feels good for you. I like to keep my eyes open, as you know, and uh, soft downward gaze. You can do that or you can close your eyes, whatever works for you. And when thoughts come and go, we don't entertain them. We note them and turn right back to the breath, like training a puppy. When uh, you have a puppy that you care for, that you love, you put it back on the newspaper in order to toilet train it. You don't smack it around. Uh, you just li gently lift it up and put it back on the paper. Gently lift it up and put it back on the paper. Same thing with your, your mind. 
when it starts drifting away from your breath and your body, then you pick it up and you put it right back on the breath. I say the body as well because really breath and body are part of the same thing, part of the same deal. Your breath involves your body and uh, really your five senses are still open as you're meditating. So you're hearing light is entering your eyes, even through closed eyelids. Uh, you're feeling pressure and sensations and all of that is part of your experience as you're meditating. But the breath is the central focus. It's the thing that keeps you from drifting. So let me show you this app. It's called the Insight Timer. It's right there above the Kindle. Let's see that brass bowl. It, uh, it's really nice for timing your meditations. Here's what the timer looks like. There are other pages. There's a wonderful nifty page for guided meditations. There we go. You can set the time, you can set the bell, etc. You can have ambient sound if you want. So we're going to do three minutes. Ready? Here we go. <clears throat> when I uh, touch start, I put it on a five second delay. So there'll be five seconds of silence and then you'll hear a bell and then we'll have three minutes of meditation and then you'll hear two bells that uh, signal the end of the meditation. Remember, calm is the goal today anyway. Uh, but it's really even simpler than that. Just following the breath, following the breath, following the breath. Relaxing. Yes?
Very funny. Thank you. So you never know what's going to happen during meditation, which is part of the fun. And uh, a good sign that you're doing right with your meditation is if you are interrupted, uh, you are relaxed and you have a sense of humor about it and you take that in as part of your meditation. So I don't know if you heard what was going on there, but uh, I had a little visitor for a moment there at the end. Okay, so what I would like you to do is keep in mind then this quality of calm, this non-reactive state uh, where you're aware, you might even be aware of triggers, but you don't get carried away or overwhelmed. You, you access this higher functioning brain. You do it by perhaps breathing more deeply, by becoming aware of your breath, even out there in the big bad world. <clears throat> See how that goes for you. See if you can um, revisit this, this mind state from time to time during the day. Think calm, think patient, uh, breathe, see what happens. We'll try another one of these soon. I can't say exactly how soon because this is an ambitious task to even put one up. I hadn't thought of this until today, so I hope to do more, but we'll see. Okay, have a good one. and. I will see you soon.